I need to get all of this off. Uh. So to do this, press the button and we have a clip right here and one right here. So we need to use a flathead screwdriver. Let me search for one. A bigger one would be obviously better, but this seems to work. And you unhook it and pull at the same time uh, down. I don't have uh, three hands, so I will uh, do this off camera. Just pull down from uh, the edge. As you can see, one side is loose. Now I will do the same on this side. And now around it, it has this type of uh, clips. So you just go, or actually I think we could pop this and then it might go easier. That thing I had the impression it has a clip right in this area, but I don't even know how it works. So I need to investigate. Maybe it will help us if we can pop this plastic out first. Uh, yeah, let me get back to you in a moment. I'm continuing to pop this by using this uh, prying tool. This is a huge clip and I actually need it to also pull on this. Do not break the plastics. Ha! So it's 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 honestly really difficult to do this. Yeah, I kind of need ah okay, I managed to do it on video. Ah so now yeah it's still locked in the front. I was ho oh I didn't fully pop this one. Ah and do we yeah we have more access but I think I need to unplug a few things and see what I'm dealing with in here and if this actually helps or was not even necessary. This is weird. Ford do things really complicated, honestly. Yeah, but I see some screws. I think it was actually necessary. Some torques. This has a clip on the other side, so push on that and it will come out. And this... How does that... Ah, it has one clip on each side, so... Or it slides in, could also slide in. Ah, I have no clue. Jesus Ford, what are you doing? This is really weird. Anyway, I'm sorry, but I'm giving up at this point. As you can see, this dangling right here. I need to. Rem I needed to remove this to get the wire from here to here. I can see the wire in there, and then I could pass it through here. And I'm hoping I can go with it up to here. In this area so if I can do that I will not open this up further because there are some clips right there really co close to this we have some flex foils for the LED lights uh, we also have a cover right here that might or might not contain some screws in there also so this is really tricky to remove I don't know why I thought that anything is going to be easy in a Ford so with the Torx T20 already undid one, undid one screw and I'm undoing the other ah, I cannot pass I have some some reinforcement here and I cannot pass through it so I need to get this thing out to pass my wire these guys were really trying to make this as complicated as possible and I thought I would it's were complicated no Ford takes the crown for sure be really careful not to rip these things when you unlock those clips this thing will come down it's here and look how thin this edge is so do not snap it and yes there is a cover right here which is actually covering this area but yeah anyway this I'm not going to take off I don't even think we can because it's uh, it's deep in there so I'm not touching that for sure anyway I think I can get my wire through here and through here and over and yeah Ugh. And these things, I managed to undo their clips to basically get them out while holding everything up because I have no clue how I can e and if I can actually unplug uh, this flex from, from anything above. So uh, I'm ugh. getting ready to put this back on. First thing that you need to do, lift it in there and clip these things in place. And then you do not let it down. You make sure it's locked in this, on both sides, obviously, in the clips. In hindsight, if you know how the connector looks for the flexible cable, 
that's around this area somewhere I cannot really properly see it right there you can see a bit of it maybe you can unhook it from here and it would be much much safer it's in this area where my finger is but yeah I didn't do it that way I unclipped this thing is on both sides so I went the complicated way and now at the end you need to make sure that they go exactly right back in place because they have some pins onto which they need to lock on both sides so yeah a bit annoying clipped it make sure these go in the holes they didn't want to go in the holes they have some holes in there uh, these clips are also okay i pushed everything in so that's perfect now i'm going to put back the two screws and after that clip this and put everything back and we are done just realized one of the connectors goes into a, a blockage, a, a nothing. <laughs> and these are also nothings right here. So maybe a higher end model would also have something here. Only thing that I think we have is a microphone right here, which is this little guy. Looks like a microphone, honestly. But this does nothing, although it has two wires. Uh, maybe we can actually upgrade. Who knows? I will investigate, that would be interesting. Anyway, let me clip these things in place. Both of them are in place. Now I'm going to just... Uh, just, like it is easy. It's not easy, it's annoying, but... Anyway, I need to clip this thing back on. I think these two big ones are the first that I want to put in, I think. Actually, no. There are even uglier ones on the bottom and these are kind of non-moving, I think. So, these ones probably I want on first actually no i was right the first time you can slide the back ones in and then i think these are actually moving not 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 movable yeah and i still have something and it's locked Whew.